Hey everyone, Mike with MJCL Modeling here. I am so sorry I've not posted anything at all lately. Um, I have been so busy this spring and this summer so far. Um, but uh, um, I just want to say um, I actually am recording this well after my last uh, two projects are done. So um, I, I recorded making them and all that stuff about a month or so ago, but I just haven't put it into a video yet. So as I record this right now, it is done. But uh, um, I'm gonna still go through the motions and show you the video and everything that I, all the work I did to make it and stuff like that. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It's uh, it was it was a great time. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just go through the motions. And uh, remember, if you like what you're seeing on this channel, like and subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, let's uh, let's do it. My uh, first foray into doing the uh, dot filter. I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just kind of trying to go by what I saw on. Uh, YouTube and I'm using Windsor and Newton oil color um, just like a multitude of colors burnt umber lamp black burnt sienna yellow just a whole bunch of random colors and uh, um, I was really hoping it would turn out good and it didn't turn out bad I mean it, it gave it a good good look I mean I mean I, I really wasn't really sure what to expect I you know putting yellow paint all over your OD green tank kind of makes you feel a little uncomfortable but uh, I think it turned out okay um, you know if anybody has any other uh, tips uh, for um, doing the dot filter or anything like that please feel free to uh, you know shoot me a, a comment or something because uh, I really could use the uh, guidance And here I am just uh, kind of starting to streak all that paint. Um, it really doesn't matter how long the paint sits on there. I'm using the turpentine and it's uh, it's just starting to kind of streak it down. And uh, from watching YouTube videos, they say always use a oil brush for this. Otherwise, uh, oil paint brush, otherwise you'll destroy your acrylic paint brush doing this. Now, if anyone watching this uh, thinks I might have taken off too much of the oil paints, um, let me know. I mean, I really don't know what is too much and what is too little left on the tank. Um, I, I kind of went by what I thought looked good, and it, I, like I said, it turned out okay, I guess. But I mean, if I can do better, feel free to you know let me know. And this is kind of my technique I uh, like to do when I'm uh, painting things that are wood. I actually took this uh, out of another diorama. I did this crate here and I had painted it brown a long time ago before I really knew what I was doing too, too much. And uh, my technique for painting things with uh, wood is I paint them with uh, XF57 uh, buff and then uh, I take oil paint. Um, I take burnt uh, umber and I just kind of lightly brush it on over the, uh, the dried acrylic uh, buff. And it gives it a pretty good little uh, wood look to it, and uh, you'll you'll see when I get to the uh, the uh, oil paint part, it turns out pretty good. See, not too shabby, eh? And here I'm just using a little bit of uh, Tamiya panel line accent color brown, just kind of trying to darken up those tracks a little bit.
And here I'm just dirtying up the bottom of the tank with uh, some uh, AKA Terrain's wet ground. And these are just some uh, sticks I got from the uh, woods behind my house. Um, I cut them with my little tiny uh, chop saw to simulate sticks of firewood and uh, glued, glued them together to uh, simulate a bundle of firewood to put on the side of the tank. And I just used some uh, upholstery thread to uh, wrap the uh, bundles of quote unquote firewood to uh, simulate them being tied up. And here I'm just applying a uh, some Vallejo European dust and uh, Vallejo uh, oiled earth um, wash in uh, varying uh, levels of thickness around the tank and letting it dry just to try to uh, make high traffic areas more dirty than uh, low traffic areas where the crew would be uh, walking on it and stuff like that. And I'm just kind of playing around with it a little bit, you know. And uh, here I'm just doing a little extra highlighting and rust streaking around the uh, the tank in certain areas, you know, making some of the bolts rusty and some not so rusty and uh, putting some rust streaking down the tank um, to, you know, give it that weathered look. And here's the uh, fun task of trying to glue slash tie this crate to the back part of the turret. It was such a pain. I mean, it wasn't wanting to weave and the string was, you know, not cooperating. And I kept breaking the glue seal that I had holding it on. And it was, it was just a pain. If I would have showed all the footage of me, you know, breaking it and fixing it and breaking it and fixing it, it'd be a three hour long video. It was, it was a pain in the butt to do. And here I'm just checking the fit, see how it looks with the uh, crate and the firewood. Um, that's a good tip actually for anyone scale modeling. I'm sure everyone else knows it, but always double check to see how it looks and if you like where it goes and everything like that before you glue it on. Because uh, it's a, as anyone knows, it's a, it's a pain getting that glue off and fixing mistakes like that. When uh, you get it glued on, you're like, yeah, I don't like the way that looks. So 
Um, always check that, that look and fit before you glue. And again, gluing these uh, bundles of firewood and tying them on in the other crate and bundles of firewood is just as big a pain as the one crate on the turret, but uh, I got it done. And here I'm just applying the uh, terrain's wet ground to the, the tracks and the hull and stuff like that and trying to apply it in a way that gives it a, a little bit of a natural look, but uh, ultimately just uh, settling for the brush. And I had some video of me applying this snow to the tank, but uh, somehow it was uh, corrupted and I couldn't get it uh, onto the video, so there's just a picture for you. And here just using some good old fashioned super glue to bond the tank to the bridge. Now the fun part, putting the troops on the bridge and on the tank and uh, giving it that final touch to really bring it home. Well everyone, that is my uh, bridge diorama, so <laughs> that you know, that was a lot of fun to build. I really enjoyed building that whole diorama and everything like that. And I hope that it kind of gave some people some ideas and inspired some people and everything like that. And, um, you know, I, I have plenty more on the on the burner right now and stuff like that. So um, we're going to keep working on uh, all our projects and stuff like that. And uh, we will, uh, you know, we'll see you in the next episode. So uh, thanks for sticking with me through all those episodes again. Okay, we'll see you in the next one.